Right, the wind has gusted up a little bit, and now you can see that the one blade is turning slowly and the really turning rapidly. It's the blade with the two holes in it. So that was kind of a really fun test. I didn't think it would work at first. It does work. It would even work better if I put the matter gauge at 45 instead of uh, 35 because 45 is the exact half of 90. That way even though you you turn the hub over 90 degrees you should have the exact same angle. If it's 45 they should turn at the same speed. Let's do it. Let's test it. So I'm going to cut some at 45 and try the method suggested to eliminate one step the process of switching the whole thing over to the other side of this of the saw blade so now I just used a clamp and nothing else I didn't have a screw and I it's easy to set these up to go through the center because at 45 you go right you go right on the edge you go right on the edge. So there, and notice no hole yet. So I'm going to do two of these. Each hole will be 90 degrees out from the other. And of course, the jig is uh, stuck. The jig is stuck. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I did, what I would glue this, this little block just to keep it vertical, perfectly 90, and also oriented. So if you're going to do a lot of them, you could. You just slap it right against there like that. Clamp it. Flipping it over. Making sure it's clamped uh, tight against the block to hold it vertical, perfectly vertical. Alright, so now we have two, uh, two hubs at 45 degrees. There's no hole, so you can turn these any way you want. Now that's weird. It's the same on that side, and it's different on that. Did I do something wrong here? <laughs> All right, it's getting really weird here. Let me do another one. All right, so let's try that again. Make sure that you keep it oriented properly so you get opposite angles. I drilled this one the same one. It looks like this. Because I flipped it. Should look like, you know, one on one side and one on the other. So let's try. I'm going to leave the wood pressed against the extension and just flip it in for end. And that should assure that I don't do what I did last time. So these are on the same orientation. They're like this, which means they'll turn in the same direction. But all I'm going to have to do is drill a hole, drill one of these holes this way, and one of this hole on 90 degrees from it. This is the proper way with the V. So I'm going to mark the where the hole should be in both of these. I predict this is going to work. Ooh, it's a tight. Before I drill this, I'm going to check here. Right, so, yeah. Alright, 
feel like I'm doing Mythbusters here. So this was the one uh, we tested at the 35 degree angle. And when you turn the holes 90, you end up uh, with one blade at 55 degrees. Oh, look at that. We got breeze in here. One, great, one blade at 55 and one blade at 35. And you got two holes. Here's the 45 degrees. Well, there's no, absolutely no wind. Let's move. Maybe there's some more wind over here. There's a little puff of wind. That's 45 degrees. And you can see that effect of the flapping of them spinning opposite directions. So that Patricia's method of uh, turning the hubs 90 degrees and drilling the hole is great. And it does work for 45 degrees. They're spinning at the same time, same speed, and in opposite directions.